All right, welcome to video number four. This is the video to chapter uh, four, social factors. Reading all the learning objectives, I think it looks a bit more complicated and a bit longer than it than actually is when once you read the chapter. So what is the message? Um, this chapter obviously deals with social issues that we are faced with. Anything pertaining to human beings is dealt with in this factor. There are numerous injustices, inequalities and issues. Many relate to so-called social megatrends. These are unstoppable, almost irreversible trends that have been shaping up over the past decades. Oftentimes these came from technological innovation without the explicit intent to harm certain sections of the population, but that came more like as a, as a, as a byproduct of it. The megatrends are globalization, automation and, and AI, inequality and wealth creation, digital disruption, social media and access to electronic device, changes to work, leisure time and education, changing demographics, including health and longe uh, longevity, uh, urbanization and then lastly religion. As you can see, most of these trends are di a direct result of uh, a free and open economy ruled under capitalist regime. Now this inspires technological innovation and drives the population to areas where there are jobs. This creates inequality in those areas where jobs are hard to find. The social issues deal with the byproducts of these general, uh, generally good inventions. Um, so then <clears throat> in addition to kind of these social megatrends, there are also environmental megatrends that have social repercussions. Climate change and transition risks, water scarcity and mass migration. Mass migration is the result of climate change. If a location becomes unlivable because in summer times the daytime temperature exceeds 45 to 50 degrees, people will be forced to move to colder areas. This in turn may uh, have unwanted effects on countries, um, you know, neighboring them to the north. Any country would have difficulty taking in millions of migrants and integrating them uh, in their existing ecosystem. The chapter <clears throat> further talks about the relationship between social issues and business activities. There are two dimensions, the internal and the external social factors. Internal has to do with issues within the firm. So this includes topics like human capital development, uh, employment standards, health and safety. These, you know, it tries to address the questions of how companies treat their employees, uh, you know, which are an important stakeholder. In this chapter, you will also be introduced to the concept of modern slavery, uh, labor rights and human rights and the initiatives that have been established in that regard. On the other side, we have the external firms, um, sorry, external factors, um, and those kind of uh, ask the question: How does a firm treat non-employees? You know, whose lands are being used? What, uh, what about product liability and consumer protection? Social opportunities for communities in that area? Animal welfare? So, similar to chapter three, the question becomes then. How do we assess how material a social issue is? Um, again, you, your lens is always through the lens of a financial analyst. The chapter explains how to assess material social risks on a country level, sector level and company level. And it also provides you with case studies and examples of how these risks have been incorporated in the past by real life examples. So as you will see, this chapter is not too long and also not too difficult to understand. So when it comes to the you know, five uh, most important topics, in my opinion, uh, based on our uh, understanding of, of, the, of, the, of the chapter, we would say, you know, um, definitely understand the social mega, mega trends, um, the internal social factors and the external social factors, and then materiality in social factors, and then lastly, how to apply uh, social factors in company analysis. Um, but again, chapter is not too long. Um, definitely make sure that you have read it, um, but that should not be
the most challenging one in your study progress.